guys says let me show you the easiest way to make this v-neck i welcome you all back to my channel i am haisha in today's video i will be showing you how to cut and sew this v-neck thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial this is the material i will be using i will be using the plane for the body and i will be using the ankara for the neck this is the starting point you draw a straight line for your starting point i will be coming down by 16 and a half i will be taking the shoulder measurement the shoulder i'm using is seven and a half I will come down by 9 inches for the arm o length. You take that 7.5 there also, the shoulder measurement, and make it a straight line. That's our arm o length. I will be taking the circumference measurement. I've add the inseam allowance to it. I will be taking the width of the neck. I'm making use of 3 inches. I will come down here by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. Whatever remain here, you look for the midpoint. That is our shoulder slope. You draw your shoulder slope to the width of the neck. We are the width of the neck stop. And I will be coming inward by half inch. You use your French curve to create your arm O. For the depth of the neck, I will be making use of 7 inches. From that point, I will go inward by 1 inch. And you connect the line to meet the neck at the upper part this way. I will be cutting it out. You add half inch to the shoulder for the joining allowance. For the Ankara, I have these two pieces. I will be coming down by 11 inches. That's the length I will be using on the Ankara. 11 inches. The width of the Ankara is 4 inches. You fold it into two. This way. You can decide to make it wider than this. If you want the neck to lap at the center. When placing it, you can make use of 3 inches for each you place it on the right aspect of the body this way on the right aspect of the body you place it this way you place the other side too this way you can see and you place your sewing on it with half inch by the time you get to the down part of it you can see where i stop my sewing that's where my sewing will stop that's where the sewing will stop for the sewing part you place it that way and place your sewing on it to the point where the sewing will stop please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends You pick the other side, same thing applies to it. You can support this channel by clicking on the join button. God bless you as you do that.
you nosh it slant at that point where the sewing stop this way. This way, you can see. You bring it this way. You can see the way I fold it back to meet that center point. You can see it. You fold it that way to meet that center point and use your office pin to hold it. You can see it. So you start your sewing from that point where the sewing stop. You start your sewing from there to the other side. Make sure everything is laid. This is it. You can see how simple it is. If you want it to lap at that center point, you make use of three inches for the wideness of the Ankara. You trim out the excess at the back. Top stitch on it. Top stitch on the main body. You flip the inseam to the main body and top stitch on it all around. Make sure your sewing is neat when doing this. Give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button. This is it. This is the front part. And this is the back aspect. You iron it after sewing. If you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you have any question or suggestion, you can drop it in the comment section below. Kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching. Bye.